Hi there and welcome to another QImage Ultimate instructional video. This video is going to cover a somewhat forgotten but recently updated in this version feature um, and that is the ability to save and recall printer setups. With the new driver AI system I see a lot of people choosing their printer and then they'll choose the type of paper that they want to use, choose the size of the paper, and then uh, they'll go in and suggest profiles and, and get a profile. And, you know, they're doing things that way. They don't even have to go into the driver. It, it, you can select those things and go forward from there. But this video is just a reminder that as good as driver AI is, you can save and recall printer setups, so you only really have to rely on driver AI one time for each paper type that you're using. So I have some paper types for this printer, but let me choose another printer that I don't really have any paper types for. Um, let's see. With 8500, I don't think I have any saved settings. Well, let's, let's choose the, uh, the Epson P700. Okay, so now let's say this was the first time I'm, I'm printing with luster paper. So let me go find ultra luster here. And I'm using letter size. Um, and automatically you see that driver AI has, has made things optimal for you. But let's go down here and suggest profiles. See, this is what a lot of people are doing now. P900, P700, Ultra Luster. That's the one that I want so at the top of the list. So I click on that. These look good. Click OK. And now I'm ready to add prints to the page and print whatever I want. So at this point, though, I have 8.5 by 11 Luster. I can save a setup here. And you have to ignore all these. These are I have hundreds of these setups in here that I've been using for testing. That's just me. You're not going to have all these weird ones. But remember, we're saving now the setup. So I'm going to call this Epson P700 Ultra Luster 8.5 by 11. I just You can use whatever conventions you want. I usually put that in parentheses. So when I save that, Okay, now I'm done and I can use that paper anytime I want. Now, let's say I was using a different kind of paper or I, maybe I was on a, a different printer. And I'm saying, okay, I want to print some Ultra Luster on that P700. Well, you don't have to go through here and select the P700 and select Ultra Luster and select 8.5 by 11 and go down and suggest profiles. You saved it. So at any time, you can just bring it back by going into here, into these the recall settings. But what I would do first is I would just, I know I want to print on the P700, so I would go select. And again, you guys are not going to have this many printers, so this is a long list because I test on all these. But I'll select the P700, and then the last setup that was used comes back. But let's say it didn't. Let's say I used matte the last time I was on this printer. Go here and do recall saved settings. And when you get to here, you can drop this box down and say, show me setups for the current printer only. And you can see that only two of them are there. And this is the one that I just saved. This is the one that I want. So I can click on that. Well, it's already highlighted. So I can just open it. And now all the settings for that job come back that... Uh, not really a job, but a printer setup. So you might have another type of paper. You might have, let's say, a Canon luster paper that you printed on. And it has a Canon profile that you created. So you might have two under luster here. And I can show you that uh, on my 8550 um, right here. I can go to the 8550 and say show me for the current printer the 8550 only you can see that i have a bunch of printer setups that i saved here so that i don't have to go through this process and drill down one by one here's hp advanced glossy that's a paper that i use 
And I, when I reload that, it loads everything that it needs, including the profile for the HP Glossy Paper. Now, notice that Ultra Premium Glossy was selected when I created the profile. So that's what's applicable to this. So if I go in here now, and here's, we're getting into the new feature now. If I go into here, everything shows up. Well, you don't want that. You could do current printer and it'll show me only the 8550 setups that I've saved. And let's say I do have Epson, genuine Epson Ultra Glossy. And if I click on that and load it, it loads everything, including the ICC profile for the Epson Glossy paper, as opposed to the HP Glossy. You can drill down even further. Let's go in here and say, show me all the setups that I've saved for the current printer and media type. So it's going to show me all of the saved setups under the 8550 that used ultra premium glossy in the driver. That's what this means. Current printer and media type. So now I'm seeing there's three in here. I've got an eight and a half by 11 and a 13 by 19 setup for the HP advanced glossy. And I also have an, a genuine Epson paper setup. Let's go one step further. Let's say we want to limit this list to the save settings for the printer, media type, and size. So now I'm saying, show me all the printer setups that I've saved that use the 8550, they use ultra glossy as the media type, and 8.5 by 11 size. So I click that, and the list is narrowed even further. These are the two setups that that have eight and a half by 11 paper selected. And if I go back, I can go back to the media type and see this 13 by 19. We're, we're currently, you can see we're on eight and a half by 11 paper here. If I select the 13 by 19 and I open that, the paper size changes to 13 by 19. I get the correct profile and everything. So this is really what you should be doing after you've gone through the process of setting everything up. Just save a printer setup for each of the papers that you use. So uh, I'll just give you an example. On the 8550, let's say I get out a uh, semi-gloss paper and I might have one semi-gloss paper. I might have two, three, four semi-gloss papers that I've saved. But I can go to the 8550 because I've got this semi-gloss paper in my hand. So I'll select uh, semi-gloss and it's eight and a half by 11 paper because again I'm holding the package of paper in my hand so this is what I'm this is my thought process I've selected the 8550 semi-gloss paper and letter size now if I have more than one semi-gloss paper I can go in here to this recall saved setups and if I show me let's say the 8550 and semi-gloss, I have two here and they're both cannons. So I know I don't want the 13 by 19 because the pack of paper I'm holding is letter size. So I would choose this one, but I might have a red river in here. I might have an HP. I might have a Staples office depot semi-gloss. I might have a bunch of different ones in here and this will allow you to quickly find the saved setup that you meticulously saved and named so that you could recall it in the future so you know what it is and uh, you know just pick a name like this one here that shows you this one doesn't even have the size listed but I can do show me the bottom one remember is the most restrictive they get more and more these filters get more and more restrictive as you move down so the bottom one is going to limit it to 8550 semi-gloss paper and eight and a half by eleven so if I pick that I know this is eight and a half by 11, even though I didn't type it in there, which I should have. So you get the idea. You can really drill down with this and make it so much easier to choose these. Now, when I choose this, just double click it to open it. And now when I choose it, I can be sure that the profile is correct and everything is set the way that it was when I first printed on this Canon Photo Paper Plus semi-gloss. And that's the beauty of saving and recalling these printer setups. We, we really shouldn't be doing this every time, selecting a printer, selecting a paper type, selecting a profile. Just save the setup. That way, when you're ready to load one, if you, 
if you're not sure what paper to print on, say, hmm, I got I got this nice image here. What paper am I going to use for that? Well, you can go in here and see every setup that you've done in the past and just limit it to the current printer because you know you want to print something on the 8550 but not sure what paper I'm going to use. And you'll look through this and, oh, that's t-shirts. I don't want to use that. I want to use semi-gloss or luster. So then I check my, you know, what I have here in stock on hand and I find out I have more luster. I kind of like to print on that anyway. So I'll click on that, open it, and now everything is set for this Canon photo paper luster that, you know, again, I have it in my hand. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'll print on that one. So this is how to make things really simple and not always have to drill down one step at a time. Just save your printer setups. And when you're loading them, this new feature here that allows you to drill all the way down to, you know, as far as current printer media type and size, there's only one. You know, if you look at them all for the 8550, I got a bunch, but you can drill down here and easily find what you need for the paper that you have. So I hope this will make things really easy when you're dealing with different papers, different printers, uh, saved printer setups. But do take the time to, once you have a new paper that you're printing on, you haven't printed on it uh, before, do take the time to click this button here and save the printer setup and then you can find it in the future. You won't have to drill through all this. I'll give you one last example here that I think is important. Um, I'll go in here now and what I'm going to do is I'll click on, let's see, uh, instead of color, let me do a black and white. And I, so now I'm setting the driver up for black and white mode. I click OK. Now this new version automatically previews your images on the live view here as black and white if the driver is in black and white mode. I want to change this to let printer driver manage color. So, OK, automatically you know you're in black and white mode. You can just see that uh, right here because your photos will all be black and white. Once you change out of that mode in the driver, go back to color mode, it'll switch back to color. So this will allow you to not have any surprises uh, when you're printing. You'll know you're going to get a black and white. But the whole point here is I've set up now to do a nice black and white on this luster paper. But what I want to do is save this. And I'll say, show me 8550 profiles on the luster paper. I only have one. This is the color one. So what I'm going to do is click on this to get the file name down here. And I'm going to put in here black and white. And then I'll also put the eight and a half by 11 in there. Okay. So now I've saved a setup for luster, one for black and white and one for color. So now when I go in here, and I say, show me 8550 for the luster media type. What do I have? Okay, I have one here, which I know is color, but I have the black and white listed in here. Now, see, we've got a black and white cat back here because this is the last setup we used. If we want the color one, we can just click here, click open, and it goes back to color. You know you, you have a... A color set up there and conversely if we go back in here and we limit it to the 8550 luster paper again uh, we choose the black and white one double click on that the image goes to black and white and we're completely set up for the setup for luster black and white so now I have a setup saved for black and white and a setup saved for color for this luster paper it probably makes more sense to do that on matte paper but this is just uh, to give you the information that it, it's nice to be able to set different setups up like this so you don't have to try to think as you go you can just you know the next time you want to use this let's say we have uh, you know a completely different setup in here uh, the next time you want to use this you can just set your printer then you can go here and do current printer and pick your luster color 
and you've got that. So hopefully this will help you in your printer setups and setting things up the way you need and make sure there's never any mistakes. Thanks for watching.